A special look at the explosive rise. My God, I know my life. Rocks to reach a female mama mansion. And sad, very sad. Fall of Gully Bob. Condolences to his family and friends. A lot of people not taking it well still. You know. The artist brother, Andrew Blacks, will be here. I'm a caduceus. Where is Maka Diamond I mean, yeah, Maka really. in music these days? I'm a caduceus. The dancehall diamond will be right here on our stage to answer that and more questions. All coming up. Welcome to the show, everyone. I am Winfred Williams. We'll be right back. On stage with Winford Williams. This segment of On Stage is brought to you in part by Campari. Respect the bitter. Where is Maka Diamond in music these days? The dancehall diamond is right now, right here on our stage to answer that question and more. You now make this easy. Diamond. Diamonds are forever. Forever, indeed. <laughs> indeed. Before we continue, I want to say condolences to Gullibab mm -hmm. family and may his soul rest in peace. Where is your music at this time? Let's start with that. Okay, the music has been great. Actually, I had a great summer. I was all over the place. So I'm um, doing new music. So I have my new music that are dropped. And um, I'm now promoting one called Numb Up. Mm -hmm. And... Um, that's doing great. It's doing great in every party. So, and the summer was great for me. I had a great summer. As I said, keep promoting the songs, performing on the stages for my fans, and everything was great. So, the diamond is still here. The diamond is <laughs> still there, still. man. I'm still here. The, the diamonds are forever. Yes. And so, why don't we think that? That's how we think about you. Diamond. Always. You know, we, I'm the most <laughs> consistent female, and I have to remember, say, yeah. I am the, the second most hit female dance artists that have the biggest songs as female, you know, Bonim, Dai Dai, name them, they can go look it up. And Spotify, I do a lot of streams weekly. So, you know, I'm always going to be around. Yes. So, so where, why are you so low-key of late? No, not, I, I thought I was, I, I thought I was doing, all that I was doing, I, I was low-key, I just mash up Angela E. Day yes. in New York City. I was the, the number one act on that show. Shell it down in New York City, okay. you know, all over. And um, I know so the big thing I come up, enough shows I come up and I'm still active. I'm still doing what I'm supposed to. I was talking about locally. Local. Oh, well, locally, I yeah. mean, I just did um, my shows here. I just did um, Portland mm -hmm. and I did St. Mary. We still the mode, we have thing. It's just because me, me, me not create no trouble on <laughs> social media right now, but, no, but we can't yeah, create yeah, trouble if you want to. Yeah, but you're great, you're me yes, me, me create yeah. my own, me look a team now. Me have a nice, look a young team. And if you notice, you see me picture them from my social media, I'm a nice, I'm cute, I'm a look thin. So I'm uh, yes, I'm looking that's what I'm saying, that's feminine. where you're creating. <laughs> <laughs> yes, me I try to stay Your like excitement that. is how well you look. And exactly. Your, your post style looking right. right. So I have a young team now. Yeah. And we, you know, Gianni and the family, Daryl, and, you know, so it's a little young team. I would, and then I put me to, to, to the, the social media, more sophisticated, and a bag of things are going on just through, you never know. Yes. I a did bag of things are going on. And you just tell us about the, a the bag, bag of things are going on. The bag of music things you're doing. But you where understand? do you reside, though? This is... All the, over. You know, so we're artists yeah. with the album. This, oh, I know you love, you love Portland, <laughs> <laughs> and that's what What's I want up, to know. I, <laughs> is, are you living in Portland? I'm living in America, Jamaica, <laughs> and if I go to Costa Rica, everywhere. Okay. UK is calling me right now. I live everywhere, Winfred. So you've been doing your work, moving oh, yes, around. Yes, because you don't know it's my life. It's offshore my life. Jamaica, working right. and living. And yes, and as I tell you, I just dropped a um, couple months ago. We have a few new songs dropped. The, um, one that is doing great is called Numb Up, mm -hmm. and I just dropped another track 
you know, they just, they just keep coming. So I want the people to look out for that. But for now, we want them to say just the, the ambassadorship. Getting my social media together, as I'm yes. saying, all my posts and my new pictures, them. Those things are going great for me right now. Congratulations. Thank you. I you know, sir, uh, yeah. big bad thing will come up. <laughs> we don't say no more. Bugger things. Okay. <laughs> so you're one of the giants. Okay. I'm tall, isn't it? <laughs> I'm five feet I seven three. <laughs> it's the ten. I think I, I heard something about the ten giants. Upstate. Well, you know what, go already. So you're one. Yes. But as I said, a bag of things go on. The whole summer will take over. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's, it's been great. It's been great. I can't complain. I can't. And greater things coming. I want the fans to know that. And that's the catalog that you're working on now, with, with a music catalog. Lots Definitely. of great things to come. Yes. And so it, what? Album? EP? What? EP, what? EP is going to come out. And you know, so I'll get the Grammy soon. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, next year. Okay. Let me next. We're not testing for a long time. Nobody then. can challenge you. Of course, not 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 up for the time. You, you beat all the odds in <laughs> all the time. I, I did it all the time. Diamond I did it all the time. Forever. Yes. Yeah. Age is just a number. <laughs> this is Macadocious. Okay. And um, I'm happy and loving what I do. And I mean, this is what I do, and this is what this is what I'm gonna continue to do. You know. Mm -hmm. So even if they're saying, okay, where's the diamond? I am here. And I won't go. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna ride until the wheel pop off. And the industry, when you look out there in the space mm -hmm. and what's going on mm -hmm. uh, with women and men, mm -hmm. uh, do you have a comment on the state of the music at this time? Uh, I, I can only say I'm happy for them. Um, and actually, the new females, uh, I'm happy for them. It's not like back in the days when it's just one or two and everybody, you know, the females don't get the blight, but no, they have social media where a lot of females can get their thing going. The new artists, them, it, I mean, they say their music, the new music, and we just, have, we just have to ride with the waves. You know, I still do my dance hall, I still do <laughs> whatever is happening, and we mix it to the way I mix with And I am happy for them. I, I don't care about... Because when I remember when I came out, people were saying, oh, the music too fast, and people always have problems. People always have issues. So at the end of the day, the new generation, let them live, let them do what they want, though. It's their music. They're making their money. Mm -hmm. That's how we make our money stage. And if you have a song, you hit, you hit, you hit. Or if you don't hit, you keep performing well, and people book you, and that's it. I mean, so I love them. I love what is happening, and I love the new growth of something new. Wow. Oh. Nice. Yeah, definitely. It's something new, and congrats them to them. They make up something, and it worked. Nice. <laughs> Very good. And it's so, all right. Let's take a little piece of one of your new tracks right here. You are the, the type of boy we make me not a fear with me two foot damn in out of here. Okay, so that one is numb up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> What? Explain a numb up there. What do you mean by numb up? You know, numb up. It's all about the uh, ladies them. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if you're in a relationship, yes. I am your husband, I'm not making no say enough to share. Mm -hmm. That means saying no numb up. Oh, <laughs> so when the when when husband makes a point of duty, if you put on, you know, the them thing up on your neck like necklace and show you say I love you and I'm one, you say don't give it away. That's numb up. No. Okay. Yeah, numb him up. All right. Okay. <laughs> right. So that's basically what it is. You know, All but right. that song is doing well in the party. So I want you guys to stream it. Go ahead and go on my YouTube, my Vivo, and everything, and, and send it right. on. The video is um, already done. I'm looking forward for, to the release of that soon. Yes. Yeah, okay. definitely. Great. There are some big partnership, special corporate deals that you have signed. Mm -hmm. Could you take it away and tell us about that? Oh, yes. So I'm proud to announce that um, now the social media brand partnership with Walmart. Mm -hmm. So right now I'm going to be looking forward to working with Walmart this month. So I'm excited for that. That yes. starts this month? Yes. Ah. And I'm also with Dossier Perfumes. So I'm also um, a brand ambassador for them. Mm -hmm. I'm also going to be working with a company called Team Damp in Belgium. But I, I, I don't want to let out no more of that. Um, that's more to come about them. Wow. So how did all these corporate deals come? 
I mean, it's... it's they, they, they seek you out, or you... Oh, what? yes. They, I mean... Special agent you have now where I shop Exactly. You? I tell you, so my new team is working. My new team is working. And you know, say so diamond, you know, say so I'm shining. And I'm more international now, you know? Cool. So it's, most of my stuff is more international. As I tell you, I went on Angela Yee show, and I mean, take it. I mean, take the show. I'm a girl. I'm a clean... Clean out the stage. The whole, everybody in New York City said, I took that show. Angela, he said it, the whole, I took it. So, and I'm also going to be going on another project with Angela E coming next week. Okay. And um, I have more international stuff doing. I just met with um, Alisa Key's husband, um, Swiss Beats, mm. at an event the other day. Um, big up to Camille, um, the model girl. She had an event called Icon. Wednesdays and we met up with Beads and the whole family and oh. a lot of things coming. So we now we, we don't. We, we, I mean, I don't want to let out everything. What do you have to do to, to deliver what they want from you? Do you anything special you'll be doing? Mm, no, just be me, be the macadam and the dance all diva that I am, and they're expecting me to be just myself. Okay, so mm. you don't have to make appearances anywhere. Oh yes, on their behalf. Definitely, but. But just have to wait until it's said to be okay. This is what to do to be done, and then oh, I, see. I just be yes, and then I, just, I work. I don't have to be my team. As I tell you, my team is working. Okay. Yeah, my <laughs> team work, and I just they just give you the itinerary. Definitely. And send you off. Exactly. To do your duties. And I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Queen <Sister>. Baka. <laughs> a diamond of dance. Diamond of dance. Yes. <laughs> and one diamond. <laughs> so oh, yes. Them, yes. So look out for big things. Um, Maka Diamond is always here. Oh, wow. Congratulations on yeah, all these big things, my dear. Thank you so much. And you're an inspiration now for, for, oh, yes. for artists of all gender. Men and women should be ex never excited about your, your achievements. They're not, they're not ne it must no, be never must be motivating for them. Mm -hmm. The Jamaican can do it. Definitely. The corporate America is taking notes. Mm -hmm. They're watching you guys. <laughs> Definitely. That's, that's yes, good. because for, when I walk up in the club and um, they took me to introduce me to Swiss Bees, he was like, me know your man, I want you, I want you, man. And him, and him curse all about you. He said, well, hey, me know your man. And him hug me up and say, me know about you, where I worry about. Nice. <laughs> so they know, they know, they know. Okay, mm -hmm. good. All right. Well, Michael, thanks for coming and Thank sharing you so with much. us. Enough Congratulations love. again. Thank no, you. Your big take down <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And, 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 you know, walk with me there and continue to. I will. To shine for all of us. We get a little piece of glory when, when you guys do well, yeah? Yes, that is true. All because, of us Jamaica, we're Jamaica. we Jamaicans, we're reveling the glory of our brothers and sisters anywhere in the world they go and, and achieve big things. What good. Thank you. Bless you. And uh, still to come, our special look at the explosive rise and regrettable fall of Golly Bar. We'll be back. On stage with Winfred Williams. A special look at the explosive rise and regrettable fall of Golly Bob. My God, get up and me. The artist brother, Andrew Blacks, is on our stage right now to give the family's perspective on this regrettable passing of Bob. Andrew. Welcome, sir. Condolences, sir, to you and uh, all, of your, all your family. Yeah, thanks on behalf of the rest of the family. Yes. Yeah. And are you speaking for all of the family or for some of the family? I can, I can speak for a few. Okay. So you're a half-brother or full-brother? Yeah, half -brother. Mother and father? Yeah, just my mom. Just mom? Yeah. So your name is one that is well-known, famous, yeah. um, but you're not the Andrew Blacks that, <laughs> that most know. No, no. The, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm a disc jack, mm -hmm. selector, and karaoke singer. DJ Andrew Blacks. Right. A-N-D-R-E-W, not A-N-J-U. 
Uh, there's a spelling difference. Yeah, there's a spelling difference. Ah. So yes. I'm just a karaoke singer. I go around and sing. But I have the name the long time, Anjo Blocks, until producer Anjo Blocks come out and, and get the rise, you know? So you're in music yourself? Yeah. OK. Yeah. So, so that's all you do? Uh, yeah, no, I'm, 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 a, I'm a welder by, by trade. So music is just the so first time for I'm you? I'm just in the blood, you know? Yeah, but are you looking at a career in music? I just love music. OK. So maybe you should link up with Andrew Blacks. Yeah, possibly. <laughs> Your name's Possibly. <laughs> anyway, what can you tell us about the impact of, of, of Bob's passing on the well, rest of the family? A lot of people not taking it well still, you know? Mm. We're trying to console our mother right now, try to keep her as calm as possible, because mm -hmm. the family really not taking it well, you know. Right now, as I can hear them, my voice, I'm still, still messed up about it, you know. Yes. And it, it's very painful. Him, him daughter, him son, at least two daughters, all of the family, them in a grief right now. Mm -hmm. So we try to come together and see what best we can do this. The rumors that, that you knew, you all knew that he was dying, that he had actually told people that he was dying. Is that true? It, it's not really a rumor still. Him, him talk to me um, yes. the week before him, and, and before him going to the hospital. He knock on my door. And he said, my brother. And I said, oh, that. And I said, me, Bob, come here, help. Mm -hmm. I said, what well, I'm I push the door. So I open the door and I see him outside, up on the ground. So I said, what well, I'm you? He must say, I'm dead. I said, no, man, you're not dead, man. I said, yeah, my brother, I'm not dead. I can't feel it now. I said, you have anything you can eat? I said, all right, I'm going to look about something for you. Look about some cabbage and okra, something, and prepare it for us and give him it. I take a spoon and say, my brother, I can't keep down this. Mm. You don't have nothing like juice. I say, yeah, man, you can get some juice. I give him a bottle of juice and him drink some. I'm sitting there and say, my brother, all inside of me feel empty. See me? And I say, you have a good doctor. I say, why are you discharge yeah. yourself from the hospital? He must say, no, I can't. I not discharge myself. It's just that I not get the proper food and them not treat me good. I said, go in the hospital, man, and this time you go in there and stay. See me? I'm so a... he, was, he had been admitted on several occasions? Yeah, he was admitted on several occasions. And them same discharge himself, allegedly. Them same discharge himself. So me, that's why I asked him now, why you always discharge yourself from the hospital? Mm -hmm. He said the, the treatment, and them not deal with him good. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. So I always tell him to just go back in there and stay because he, he need treatment and he get medication. But it seems like Bob not really taking medication then. Mm -hmm. Because every time he feel pain, he come knock my door and say, my brother wants some painkiller. I say, oh, you can't just take any, any painkiller like that. He say, all right, just give me two painkillers. I give him one and I take it. I'm going to lay down till he's ready. You see him go through the gate. Gone through the gate. Yeah, him, him go away. Eh? Because uh, when, so when he, he was living killer, by himself. No, him, him, him just stay where I am living right now. Oh. Because mm -hmm. we have a spare room on my mother's house, and that's where he's staying. Okay. So him come in, him come in in the evening, and him go back in the morning. Him sit down there and just um, play up on him phone, mm -hmm. and do whatever he can do. What was his life like leading, say, in the last three, four years, five years? Uh, but no. But did just want somebody to guide him, or him, just want to accept somebody to guide him. Because mm -hmm. if somebody guide him, Bob say, yo, Anjo, can't work with a brother there, you know? Man, they rob, man, they collect my money behind my back, you know? And nah, give me, you know? So I said, Bob, why everybody always a rob you? Why not use one of your family then? I said, boy, you hear me? Me do, me do it by myself then. I said, you can't do it by yourself. You always go on somebody around you. Mm -hmm. 
But no one nobody around him. Yeah? Him no one nobody at all. Not even you, him. his brother. I talk to him enough time and say, Bob, why you not make me travel with you? I say, brother, I can't do it. He want him always want to be the one say I help the family. He oh. always say, yo, I want to do it by myself. And he can't do it by himself. So that was very important to him, helping the family? Yeah, but, but he still get the chance. Mm -hmm. And still not push out the effort to do it. Because he him, him go out the road and try to help others. Okay. But the others who help, them help bring him down. Because mm -hmm. they give him back the strength to him to get. We, we did the same, you know. Bap never hungry, Bap never shot at nothing. If Bap do not build a house, he have a whole heap of land. Mm -hmm. A whole heap of land space. Bap never shot at anything. Okay. So he's a man you couldn't, he wasn't listening to advice. It no, I'm not, not hard him to not help tell him. him. He's stubborn. He's stubborn. What? Oh, gosh. He not listen to nobody. If you, you talk to him now, I'm listening, you know. But when he's gone there, so, different thing. So when he said I'm dying, how did the family react to that? No, is, him, is, him, is it that you didn't believe or him what? tell Him tell me. I don't know if him tell anybody else. Yes. But him said to me, say, my brother, I'm dead. My did sister you tell me the same him? thing. I, I, I kind of feel, I, I kind of feel, a sympathy for him when he said that. At the first, I feel so. Yes. Because normally, him not do certain things. I'm going to unpack it and take out some money. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying, my brother, where, where you cook a while ago? Buy about the stuff them. And I said, no, man. I said, keep your money, man. I said, I don't want your money. I said, just, just buy back some of the things. I have money, you know. I said, my brother, I have money, you know, see it there. Mm. I said, go on a doctor. I, I, I get up. I said, long I do wait till him get up. And I go out, go in the veranda. And then I said, my brother, I got up on the front. And I said, no, that man is just the same I did. He must feel pain, but he must hide it. Other complications did over Papa hide, and I don't want to tell nobody. And I see it all the while. I see him. So, sometimes I'm in my room, I'm here, I'm out there, I'm moan. Oh gosh. I'm pull my window and look out there. And I said, what well, I'm telling you? I said, side that hurt him. So I said, you see, we're not going to the doctor. The doctor can't help you, you know. I said, right now, my brother. So he was it. kind of covering up yeah. the pain, the level of pain and yeah, the stress in, in, he was in. He covered up a whole heap of things. But Bap, I Bap experienced other stuff for him now, I tell nobody. So I figured say Bap have more complication and him now tell it. Mm. But he feel a whole heap of pain. Sometimes the pain hold him, 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 him after just sit down. Or him ask a pain killer. Wow. We, we try, we try. The family try with Bob, you know. All how many kids? Bob, how many kids? Yeah, he get three kids. Two girls, one boy. Okay. And they had a relationship with him, I think. Yeah, yeah, they have a relationship with him. Mm -hmm. Until he go up on the social media the other day and say something about him, him kids, them and him kids, them never take it. They never take it good. Okay. So as you can hear, when I'm daughter, they come and talk. Mm -hmm. and she express her feelings. Because I don't express my feelings the same way too. Because mm -hmm. if you know say, you have your father and the mother and the, the family they have a band and choose certain things. Now mother and father separate now, him say certain things and the kids not going to feel good about that. Okay. Mm. But so who is leading in the, at this time in terms of Funeral arrangements and uh, the estate and those things. Who is leading? Who, who do people turn to for information? Um, a, a lot of people turn to me and my other sister. And um, them, 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 them asking about his wife. His wife is in um, the States, Deborah. And she's, she's trying now to get here to deal with some issues. See if she can get the body. So. We can come together as a family and start okay, up whatever. Okay, so she will be leading. Yeah. Okay. She will she's be. they're legal legally married. Yeah, she's legally married. Okay. Okay, sir. Um, we're we're saddened by all of this. Yeah. And uh, but 
I mean, we, we can only give you our love and support and yeah. condolences to the family that, and, and the kids and all of them. And uh, thanks for coming and sharing with us, boss. Yeah, it's a pleasure, Winston. So there you have him in this segment of our show, Andrew Blacks, brother of Gullibop. After the break, our look, our special look at the explosive rise and regrettable fall of Golly Bob. We'll be back. On stage with Winford Williams. When Golly Bob got the break in 2014, the West Rural St. Andrew born DJ was a homeless 50 year old man who found refuge in the Grand Span Gully of Kingston. The break came after a foreigner recorded and posted a freestyle performance by Bob that went viral. Every girl said they want peace of me. Boom! And every girl them a dive after me. And soon Bob was the most talked about artist in Jamaica, sporting the tagline, from the gully to the money. It was this time last year that Gully Bob's rags to fame story broke. Every girl said they want peace of me. Boom! A story shrouded with doubts about his talent, authenticity, and longevity as an artist. And even after a sensational appearance at Sting in December, these doubts waged on. Still, it was a life-changing year for Bob, defined by immense popularity, success, love, and scandal. Now, whereas much of the doubtful questions have been put to rest. The one about longevity lingers. Gully Bob is right now on our stage not only to address that, but to affirm his relevance in this Yuletide season. Gully, blessed love, sir. So good to have you, as usual. Okay, sir, so a huge year for you. Big year in terms of touring, success, um, scandal, love, everything happened in this 12 month period. All the things. How has it changed you from who you were this time last year to who you are now? God changed it, man. Mm. How have you changed, Gully? How has it impacted you? Who are you now relative to who you were then, last year, this time? Mr. Gully Bob. Yes. Straight up, because last year, them time, you know. Mm -hmm. Poor life. Just emerging from the gully. Yeah, you know. Just a crack out of the gully. Mm -hmm. Things just start at the same time, you know. But, you know, a more life. You, yeah. you, you, did, you did the UK, your parts of Europe. Europe. The US, the Caribbean. In Canada. Canada. And this year. I'm back in my island. And back here. And um, this time last year, you couldn't even, you could hardly imagine yourself doing all of this. You were only dreaming of yeah, this. Yeah. And now yeah. all these things have been achieved this year for you. Last year, them time now, yes. my dream, me alone. Yes. Two dog them, separation, you see me? Mm -hmm. So something we got real. And so I this year you now. So are you still that little yeah. guy in the gully, inside, that same hum humble human being in the gully, gully? Um, a what? Yeah, man, still in me. Oh, in me, you can't get it to the I mean. It does, it does in me. The humility yeah, it does is still there? Me. Yeah, it's still in me. Mm -hmm. All right, so in, your, in looking back at the year, what would you say was your biggest achievement? Can't record it. Mm. I hear so many things, so I have to just give thanks to all the women. Get. Yes. So I can't just ping pong and say, this so was my biggest achievement. I can't just ping pong on that. How? How were you affected by the doubters about how far you will get? Because some thought you would have been over already. Were you affected? Did you ignore it? How did you deal with it? No, I didn't listen to them. Mm -hmm. 
more time people say, you know, I mean, I hear it from the ass's mouth. But other people see me and tell me, say, Ray, I say, Ray, but it's not really business. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really matter to me. It doesn't really trouble me. Because I know, say, you have all the haters. And you have all the love. Mm -hmm. But more than half and three quarters of the world love me. It's just a little handful. Just a, just a little handful. Because you know everybody can love you still, you know. Mm -hmm. It's just a little handful of say what they want to say. And the end of the day, I was them prerogative, I was them want to say them say. say. I, can't, I can't drag the whole world to love me. Because Jesus come from earth, you know, and feed them in and then hold him and nail him up. Say. Yeah, so who is me? To not get some hit. Yeah. Who is me? Mm -hmm. But God know who me is, you know? God know who Gullibap is, so. So where's all of that now, Gully? Are you still getting those haters coming at you? Or are they now less than they were, say, six months ago, a year ago? <laughs> every day five haters come, and every day one million love come. So <laughs> the haters always lose. So the thing look good for the future? Yeah. The argument done. Gullibap is here to stay. O-V-E-R. Over? Yeah. OK, wicked. Now, you're here to show them to how you walking into this season. We could call it, this is your anniversary. This is this yeah. season, because you run the season last year, yeah. and you are about to renew that. This is your one year anniversary in terms of Jamaica. So you're here to drop what is going to make some noise for you. It's going to take you into the season in style, right? In style. In style. So let's go to that right now. Bob, I'm going to kill him with time. Yo, show the vibes. From the gully bang, gully bob come from. Rags to rich, a mama mansion. A rags to fame journey that spawned a slew of affiliations. What you make me kill him with style? What you make me kill him with style? But none garnered more chatter than the one that involved management and intimacy with the then artist aspirant. Shauna Chin. Following his epic rise from rags to fame in just four weeks, Gully Bob has been dominating not just the conversation in dancehall, but also the music itself. This as the Mad Over Me DJ already scored two hit singles and took top performers credit for Sting 2014. Ninja man get me M-A-D. Yet many are still questioning the staying power and the authenticity of Bob's artistry. Meanwhile, the media is loaded with stories about Gully Bob. Gully Bob misses dental appointment to fix teeth. Bob is engaged to Miss Chin. Bob breaks off with Flames Records are just some of the topics being discussed. Miss Chin, welcome. Hi. Good to have you. Yes. Golly, are you officially engaged to Bob? Yes. You are? Yes. Oh, so that's the engagement mm -hmm. way. All right, so when did it get serious? Ah, we just grow a love for each other each day. Yes. And then more the people them talk, I just so love one another more. Oh. Mm -hmm. So was it before Sting, after Sting, uh, yeah. before his rise to fame, when? But I have love for him. One time I just start to try to help him with the music and then... Okay, you so you... I'm straight up, man, from the beginning. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, Golly, go ahead. First time I see her. It, it, yes, so it starts and it now I'm not turn and turn back. It triggered from, from, from first time? Yeah, from the first before time. Your before yeah, your before boss? Before your boss? Before my boss. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I do. Okay. So, 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 Bob, when you hear people questioning your staying power and your, your talent and so on, what, what do you say? Well, let's see the people where I say, me soon fade away. If they have somebody in them family who fade away quick, me now fade away. Because anyway, you're a black engine oil, you know. For months and years and days, it's a black spot there, so can't fade out, you know. Me is like that. I can't fade out, man. Okay. Me not learn for DJ, you know. Me born for DJ. When you learn for DJ, you will fade out. Because okay. you have to pick up people things where it belongs to you. But me born for do this, me can't fade out. You think I just know me a DJ, I'm going to kill king. Well, that must not be taken. Lightly, because already you defeated the naysayers at Sting. Yeah. Because nobody thought you could take All Sting. All right. Mm. And I said, no, man, if you take Sting, you know, you have to bad. You yeah. take Sting, you know. <laughs> Of course. I remember mean, me telling you, I'm going to take Sting before me even go up and Sting. Yes. Because <laughs> most mad people get sensible, you know. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. 
Because <laughs> I see a madman pick up a ring from the road and I'm a, a passing and I'm carrying and see him. I said, drop that in a bedroom. And then drop it and I just call him and he come and see my brush off me and then he come to me. See? Yeah. Big so, box of food and big money in his pocket. He want to see me walk like him I'm never mad. Next year, I go down past half a tree, I see me in one clean shirt, I see, you know, say, I buy the man, they go buy a shirt out of the money when I give him. Oh, so nice. Tell some of them, man, you know, say, they're not mad, they're not mad at us. Homeless, them man, they're homeless, and they're just, you know, frustrated, you know. Just like all them that call you mad. All right. So they identify with you, um, golly, them see you as them, them hero, in, in a yeah. sense. Yes. I mean, no madman, I said, Jesus, gosh. I sound like a 20-year-old madman on the road. Feels like them life done, them life doesn't start. Mm. Remember me tell them. Me hear a man, me see a, me see a thing on, on, um, on Facebook with a man called Scully Hop. Mm. I spit some lyrics too. Supposedly a, 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 a madman too. Quote unquote madman. What, what do you think about him? Him is a real madman. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. <laughs> it was predicted and sadly it came to a crashing end. Ever since news of their relationship broke just about one year ago, the dancehall space has been very much in tuned to their very peculiar dynamic. And if it is me, I am Golly Bob. And I mean, I'm a wife. A 50 year old Rax to fame artist called Golly Bob. From chicken to free and wing. Who like now we have goodbye. Who became a sensation almost overnight. Golly Bob! And a much younger aspiring artist and a businesswoman called Chen. With it came stories of unwavering love, marriage, and children. Baby. Yes, Miss Chen. Children in the works? Yeah, children and, and, and get married and live in some big house. Yes. I bet they see the same man and they talk the same thing about. Yes. Now my wife live easy. Sit down from balcony and watch the moonlight. So you get, you're pregnant already? <laughs> Not confirmed as yet. Not confirmed, but you're working on it. Wow. Yes. So we might be seeing a little bit. I'm a sheriff and that, you know. I'm a mirror <laughs> and that. Are you? Yeah. See it up. Hardships and misfortune. The public's sentiments towards their relationship was always mixed. Some favored the dancehall couple and wished them well. How we then call the power couple? Come up, my wife. What? It's a husband and wife of you. Others thought it to be a sham for publicity. Some felt it would just not work. And then there were those who outright said Chin was after the gold. You know the people in my top base, some, oh, golly, but and Chin love not real. We just do, their, do a tune instead of just say, oh, get mad at them. Because I five me name, five me name. Tell a girl for your car for me name. Despite the negativity, they seem to have been persevering. What? Why do you suppose uh, there's so many people are negative about the relationship with you and, and Bob? Well, in the negative between me and anyone. If it's negative for them, I feel a business. But then this week, the naysayers became prophets somewhat after this video hit the internet and the figurative walls of their relationship came tumbling down. <laughs> Watch your Bob, I mash up the car and you kick up the car. With me and you. See me? You ma mash up the car. See me run off of me and try to kill me. But you know, man, in my house, she's a man in my house, you know. Lock me out of my own house, you know. Try to squeeze through the door. Knock, she knock me out of the padlock, you know. Bust up the whole of me, you know. But is the gully bop and chin saga really over? I'm not really here, man, Clark. I still love you. I'm just big, so... She needs that. Bob Steers did not mend the relationship with Chin, but as you will see after the break, it wasn't long before the DJ found a new love. On stage with Winford Williams. The term keeping up with the bops was coined as a way to track and quickly identify Gully Bop's then roller coaster life 
with ex-girlfriend Miss Chen. But with the exit of Chen and the addition of aspiring artist Amari to the picture as Bob's new love, we are still indeed keeping up with the Bob's, which is made easier with a series of revealing social media postings on their part. Expressions of love, stories of hurt and betrayal, dramatic arguments. I was an R&B hip hop singer. I wasn't, I didn't have nobody disrespecting me on the internet. All the things reality TV is made of. One of their most recent posts was about Gully Bob finally getting the much talked about dental job he shunned last year for these reasons. The dental have to go on in about. I try to look like a food to buy one bed, buy one like a fridge and one like a, some like a more clothes. Cause I remember I never have that enough, you know, cause I, I, I quick after my boss didn't tell come in, you know, but I have to go on. But every if you go drive them something and I'm keep them. A couple months ago, if you can learn to DJ again, you know. The new bops are on stage right now. Amari, good to have you back. In the capacity as the other half. Golly! Real general. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No bigger general than you, sir. Yeah. All right, so let's start out with the dental job. Amari, you are the instigator of this old tooth job? Yes, because um, the more you fall in love with a person and you're with them, you want you and them to be on the same level. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of guys are um, admire me. And I would like a lot of females to admire him also, you know. Oh, so you're gonna, because... you're hatting him up. <laughs> right. <laughs> Are you sure you can manage what's coming there? I, I think so, because nobody wants to be with a man that everybody doesn't want, mm -hmm. at least me, you know. Okay, so how is he received by your kids? Oh, they love him. Mm -hmm. And um, they are more popular at school now. Every, everybody wants to be their friends. You mm. know, they call us on the phone after school and they're like, can we talk to Gully Bop? Our friends need to talk to Gully Bop. They go on field trips and they're like, um, Mom, we need to talk to Gully Bop. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. And, you know, so. and Gully, your take on this? Uh, how are you responding to them? What do you feel about these kids? Six of them. I feel proud of myself. I know I'm uh, among enough people in the can be a stepfather. Mm -hmm. For so many kids. kids? Yeah, and the respect got up and we just come like one big family. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Just so where's like home now then? Home is Jamaica or, or New, New York. York? New York. Oh, so Gully, you're just visiting Jamaica right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know, as, as, as from the beginning, I did tell you, so, you know. Yes. From chicken wing to plain wing. So the dream has come true. The dream it just come true. The dream is yeah. being realized yeah. in spite of all the turmoil. Lots of them. Mm -hmm. All kinds of breakups with people, managers, and all these things. Um, but you're you're still on tr on track. You're saying, Gully? They're still on track because I'm a career from a career started like two years ago. You know. Everybody has said, oh, I'm a fool, you know, can not eat a food off him and get my money off him and cut, you know. But guess what? When I go to school, mm. I always fear the teacher, and I always fear the pencil and pen and paper. Okay. That is the reason why nobody can say me ever sign and say you're my manager. Mm. And them going around at all and say, I'm a manager, golly, but I tell them, say, me heavy. My heart to lift up, you can't carry me, I'm a baby. I'm going to take pampas, I'm going to take pram pushing. Okay. All right, so Amari, um, mm. lots of turmoil, most of which uh, we've got from social media. What's yeah. true, what's not? Well, we try to put the truth out there. It's only like when we're having a little fun, you know, in our bedroom, you know, um, that's a little acting, but mm. everything is true. You know, other than that. All the other things, all the, the fights that you're having. With, oh, yeah, they're real. Yeah. You're having fights. Mm hmm. So soon. Not me. She's fighting you, Gully? No. So, what are these fights about? I'm talking about verbal, verbal fights. Um, so, that we've seen reported and so on. Are they true? Yeah, they are true. Right. And, Gully, you say it's not you, Sashi? <laughs> what kind of fight? 
people? Uh, like, not really. Fi uh, arguments? Well, in, in America, the term fight means argument, you know, and it's like um, when he doesn't stand up for me as a man, you know, I tend to, you know, really go out at him because that's what I need in my life, someone to stand up for me. Mm -hmm. And you're a full-blown American woman, because <laughs> America is, they say, you got it, America is woman's country. <laughs> yeah, real. That I reach you? Do you have all the power in America? Yeah, real, you know? Yes. But me, me, me like our company. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Me like our company, because I'm much comfortable. I'm comfortable. I don't mean, have to go on this and I'm afraid say, I want every day. Mm -hmm. It's me, because she's straight. OK. So you're straight, so you're getting, so when some of these, I saw one where you were supposed to do an interview, yes. and he did it without you, and you were very mad. Yes. Uh, did, how do you, you know, how do you resolve that and get back together? Um, before we do an interview, we lay in our bed and we discuss it, you mm -hmm. know? So, um, it's bad when he turns up an, at an interview and then just leave me out. Because the night before, we say, OK, we're going to be doing an interview. We get our hair done. We go shopping together, mm -hmm. you know. And you know, I get dolled up and everything. Mm -hmm. And for instance, the interview that you're talking about, we drove for miles to go to the interview. And then when I turned up, you know, everyone w was just acting strange and it was all about him. Mm -hmm. But when you invest a lot of money, you know, to do an, an, an appearance as a woman, you're going to be upset. All right, okay, got you. All right, so, so but, but that allegation that a girl is pregnant for Gully was one, mm -hmm. was one of those issues that caused the fight between both of you, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, was, is it true, Gully? Do you answer this one? Is it true mm. you get a girl pregnant? Well, I mean, I don't know about that. I have no people going in there to have their mind for me and dreams and things up. You know, but not, never really happened. They not know what I'm about. Because, look, now, all right, for instance, if I did have a girl really even pregnant for me, mm. she wouldn't kill the story so quick, man. Okay. Me not hear, she not call back, she not, me not hear nothing about, me not see no Facebook or go out nothing again. Mm -hmm. Them did just look at bus, you understand? Because no people just say something, just call girl back me, my worry bus. I don't agree to that. You don't agree to it? No, um, to what Gully is saying, even yesterday, um, I was driving and I saw a sign on a store that say, said Bob's Baby. The name of the store was Bob's Baby. Mm -hmm. That's, that that simply that. mean that a baby is still on the way. That's God's way of showing me. So you believe that? Oh, yeah. That there's a baby coming? Yeah, I do. And as far as you know, Bob, there won't be a baby? Mm. For that. <laughs> and the baby are here. <laughs> He's trying to tell me that the sign is talking about me getting pregnant for him, no. I do believe a little boy is out there somewhere, but the day that I find out, What's it's going to be something else. You will all see. It's going to be something else. Oh, really? Yeah, it's going to be worse than the, ch the Chin Saga or the Chin <laughs> episode. It's gonna oh, be really now? <laughs> yes. Hey. Yo. Wow. <laughs> Gully, so, so Gully, you, you say you don't have any, nobody's pregnant for you. So I'm gonna tell you, man, no people nyam too much and go them bed and dream foolishness, man. But why won't, why won't you believe him, though? Because yeah. um, pictures were sent to me, you know, I'm in different clothes, showing um, Gully and the girl together. I'm in very uncomfortable positions, you know. And but wouldn't you want to do a DNA or something like that before you explode as you, uh, or whatever you're planning to do? I don't think a bot baby can hide, so I think as soon as <laughs> as, as soon as the baby is born, we'll all know. I don't think that's something that can really hide. Maybe that baby come with one tooth. <laughs> you, know? <laughs> you know. No, not really, because by then you would be wearing more, more than one. <laughs> but anyway, um, you're not just a couple. You're also um, collaborating in yes. music, right? Yes. How is that going? Oh. Lovely, mm -hmm. lovely, lovely. Wonderful. Well. Yeah, we, di we just did a song called um, Hot Spots. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, we just did that since we came to Jamaica. And Gully recently wrote a song for me. That one is called Angel, but he wants it to be called Jam Sweet Amari. I love the song. Sad to say, Gully Bob and Amari called it quits soon after that chat. Following which, Bob's profile fell to its lowest since his rise to fame. And then this, about two months ago, a public plea for help. Entertainer, friend, enemy, I don't never have no enemy. Everybody who can help me, help me. You know, I don't want me to really beg no help for no feed me every day, you know. Because this is not going to be for life. But I'm going to give thanks to what I get still, you know. But I'm not telling a lie, I want to buy some bag, support me with some bag because mm. Between me and I'm not afraid to talk. You know what I have to do enough time? When I'm not in a bag, I have to cut the soda back to them, the liquor drinks back to them, and shake the head away and put it over it, but it cut out the whole and under it. It cut me. You mm -hmm. understand? Mm -hmm. Golly about the no teeth artist. <laughs> the man don't have no teeth. The man who can't eat any or anything. So when you hear me, I say, I reach out to Uno. Look no, I don't reach out to me for no special food. But I don't eat teeth, I can't eat cow food, I can't eat yellow yam and dumpling, and I don't drink porridge, I can't eat chicken back a lot of island bone or something. Gum. So here we are going, please. We need to do a laugh. You need to do a plea, reach out to even the radio station. Then. Are yeah, the... I want to entertain every Sunday. Buy me two or three of them. Oh, buying gear like a five ton dollar for buy the bag. Bunty. Bunty. Oh, God, I'm a, I'm a G that. No, no, no. Big up Bunty killer. Mm -hmm. Dolly Bob died at the Kingston Public Hospital on Monday, October 30th after suffering from multiple illnesses. May his soul find eternal peace. All right, and there you have it our special look at the explosive rise and sad, very sad, fall of Golly Bop. Winford Williams, on behalf of all of us, thanking you for joining us. Do join us again next week for more On Stage. <laughs>